All right, Island Hoppers, we are coming to you from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Let's do it. In this Philadelphia travel guide, we're going to show you around the downtown area of Philadelphia. We're going to show you some of the history. We're going to go down to the Delaware River, show you some of the restaurants down there. And we're also going to show you some of the cuisine and the good eats that you can get out here. All right, guys, some quick facts about Philadelphia. It's founded in 1701 by William Penn, who gets the name Pennsylvania. Now, Philadelphia is the sixth largest city in America with a population of 1.5 million. If you include the entire metro area, including Camden, it's much bigger than that. And it is definitely the second biggest metropolitan area or city in the northeast of the United States. With a metro population of 6 million people, All right, so behind me we have City Hall. If you look right over here, this beautiful building, uh, Greek, Roman kind of building, it's really just the Ritz-Carlton. But Philadelphia is becoming like New York 2.0. The Philadelphia City Hall is a recognizable landmark when you arrive in Philadelphia. It's actually the largest municipal city building in all of the United States. So it's an architectural wonder on the outside and on the inside. If you get a chance, try to go inside the City Hall. So now we'll head down into downtown a little bit further here, show you guys what the vibrant scene looks like around Philadelphia's downtown area as we approach the parks. Now, how about some roller skating in the middle of downtown Philadelphia just outside of City Hall? Philadelphia throughout history goes through several boom and bust cycles. Right now it appears to be in a renaissance or a building boom that's taking place, just like it had in the 20th century transformation, which really redefined Philadelphia. Over the last five to 10 years, Philadelphia has been undergoing another transformation. As I mentioned earlier, it's like people from New York are coming down here and creating a Manhattan 2.0 right here in Philly. Just to answer a couple questions that I recently got, is Philadelphia safe walking around this area? Absolutely, it's safe walking around the city center in the downtown. Now, they also asked, is Philadelphia expensive? And in this city center area where the financial district is, yeah, it does get pretty expensive. But as you can see, Philadelphia is very beautiful. This temple that you see behind me right here is a Freemason temple, and it is one of the more famous temples for the Freemasons you will find anywhere in America. Someone who was uh, talking to me on the road here on the street, the other side of City Hall, was telling me that if you go online and you type in the Philadelphia Freemason Lodge or the temple, you'll find out some very interesting information. Here you have two statues of George Washington and Benjamin Franklin under what is called the Bond. Two Masonic members right outside the Mason Temple, uh, obviously agreeing to something here, but you can read about it on the plaque right down on the ground.
So as you can see here, you've got the Methodist Church, the Freemasons Lodge, and the City Hall. Three very iconic buildings here in Philadelphia. Let me point something out to you guys. If you come over here, I'll show you. Notice how the mortar or the cement can be seen in between the stones. If you come over here to the Masonic Lodge and you look up close, you can't really see the mortar. That's considered good rock work when you can't really see the mortar like you can see here. So the way they've put those rocks and stones very tightly together is an indication of good solid masonry. Philadelphia does have a very distinguished art scene. They do have the Philadelphia Art Museum, but if you look right behind me, you can see the Pennsylvania Museum of Fine Art. See? Here's an interesting fact for you. So this area right here was part of the New Netherland colony. This was established by the Dutch in the Delaware Valley here. Philadelphia was part of that. And in the 1600s, uh, before it became under the Queen of England or the King of England, uh, the British rule, it was actually part of uh, the Netherlands, the Dutch. All right, here we are about to go down the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. You can see all these flags on both sides and at the very end is a really cool waterfall. Let's go take a look. This here is the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. If you look, really nice masonry as well on that building. So here we are in Logan Square across the street from the Sister Cities Park. Just in case you're wondering what the Sister Cities are for Philadelphia, the original two are Tel Aviv, Israel and Florence, Italy. But now they include Tianjin, China, Toron, Poland, uh, Incheon in Korea, and a few others. So I found that to be interesting. Philadelphia has this sister city uh, connection with several cities from around the world making this a true world city. This here fountain, the Swan Memorial Fountain, is a bronze sculpture from the Native Americans symbolizing the Philadelphia waterways. This area around Logan Park is where there are several museums and, li and a library, a free library at that, but the Museum of Natural Science and right behind me, if you look way down range, down this road here on Benjamin Franklin Parkway, you can see the uh, Museum of Fine Art in Philadelphia. So right here in Logan Square, as you can see right here, they had the Sanitary Commission Great Central Fair. And what they did here was they formed a way to raise money for the union in the Civil War. And they brought women together volunteering for the workforce 
and President Abraham Lincoln addressed the crowd here June 16, 1864, uh, praising the organization of the Sanitary Commission Great Central Fair. Now, if you guys come to Philadelphia and you want a true high-rise experience where you're staying way, 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 way up there, stay right here at the Four Seasons Hotel. It's about $520 a night, but check that thing out. Look how high up it goes. Probably worth it. All right guys, now we're down on the Delaware River at Spruce Park. We're gonna show you guys around this area and go check out these ships over here. So here we are on the banks of the Delaware River on the Pennsylvania side. If you look this way, you can see the Benjamin Franklin Bridge. And then right across the way where those high rises are, that's New Jersey, Camden, New Jersey. And this here is museums, and they have a restaurant here called Masalu. Let's go see if we can get a table there. No guarantees. So we went in there, obviously we couldn't get a table, but it's a really cool restaurant. If you guys can eat here, uh, sounds like a great plan. Uh, the thing is, they do have a lot of private events, as I can see in there. There's a couple private events going on at one time. guys we've now made it down to Chinatown we're gonna walk around Chinatown here in Philly show you guys what's down here Spare rib right here. All right, guys, so it's the next day. We're going to go walk around the Liberty Bell and show you guys some history around here in Philadelphia.
All right, guys, here we are at the Independence Hall where the Liberty Bell is. This was actually built as the Pennsylvania State House. You can see behind me is the Constitution Museum. Okay, just behind me here, that's the Independence Hall. Over here is where the Liberty Bell is. There's a 90 minute wait to get in. They do have a viewing glass if you don't wanna wait the 90 minutes to go inside there. Uh, I've been to the Liberty Bell, it's a bell. It's beautiful, it's a piece of history, but if you don't think it's worth it to wait 90 minutes, I wouldn't blame you. Here's something interesting about indentured servants. It says that they were supposed to uh, work for three years without wages, and then after their three years was done, then they were free to do whatever they needed to do or wanted to do. The exchange for being an indentured servant was free housing, free board, ship passage, and training. So here at the National Constitution Museum, you'll see the fight for uh, equality and freedom for all. The uh, signers of the Constitution, these bronze statues, which are on the second floor, I definitely recommend you walking around and getting a feel for those bronze statues. Also the fight for women's right to vote. Uh, so it's just a pretty good uh, museum there, but top floor is uh, where the Constitution statues are, which are my favorite. It does cost about $14.50 to get in. Inside this museum here, I found that these statues of the signers of the Declaration of Independence was probably my favorite exhibit. Just walking around these life-size bronze statues of Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, it really gave me a feeling of what it would have been like to stand next to them or be right next to these individuals who uh, crafted one of the most important documents in American history. So right here we have Benjamin Franklin's burial site. That's a very modest grave. He was a Quaker. See right here. So we're now gonna go in the Betsy Ross house. This is the woman who created the first American flag. If you do get a chance to see the Betsy Ross house, don't pass up the opportunity because this experience gives you an idea of what it would have been like to live back in that time frame. This uh, house here 
really is just to me very authentic very real and worth a stop So when you come to Philadelphia, you're going to want to get a Philly cheesesteak. We're here uh, getting one right now, and I'm going to be tearing this bad boy up. This area here is the Magic Garden. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Island Hopper TV from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I hope you guys enjoy this one, and if you did, consider watching some of these other videos and subscribing to this channel. We'll see you on the next one.